It's crazy to me how American citizens so deeply entrenched in American fantasies uphold the slaughter of thousands and the starvation of those yet living and sing anthems in celebration of the acts committed. This country, which is supporting these acts financially, is yet believed to be a country of liberty and freedom for all by those who are singing the anthem. They are totally oblivious to the fact that life, liberty, and freedom is being taken by way of their dollars, which are used to finance the war they sing in support of. They have inadvertently attached genocide to a thing Americans hold dear, liberty and freedom. While they support this war and the acts committed, their own liberty and freedom is being called into question because American students in colleges across America appear to no longer have the right or freedom to protest and have been arrested and suspended for doing so. They were attacked by police on forces, fired upon with rubber bullets, and attacked by unknown individuals, while police were suspiciously missing from those attacks. So to what degree is the right to protest being allowed within this country? And why haven't freedom-loving Americans called a halt to the assaults against those rights? What has blinded them so that they don't see the dangers in allowing this type of violence against those who believe they have the right to protest? When this type of violence was seen against those demanding justice for police murders, you were silent. And when they were mowed down in the streets by police vehicles, you were silent. When outsiders entered into the protest, destroying property and starting fires, you were silent. When those protesting peacefully had been blamed for the destruction of property that ensued, you were silent. And when they were shot at by rubber bullets, pepper spray, and confronted by military equipment on domestic territory, you were silent. And their demand was simply to stop being murdered, and to hold the guilty accountable. But because it was predominantly Black faces yelling Black Lives Matter, the violence and assaults against them didn't matter. The rights being violated didn't matter, nor did the blame for the destruction of property placed upon those who were marching peacefully. All that mattered is that they were silenced and made to go away. What is going away is life as you have known it as an American citizen. You believe yourselves to be winning when in fact you are losing. You believe Israel's victory to be a victory of your own simply because the government champions and supports this fight financially. It hasn't dawned on you that the very thing being financed is a direct contradiction of everything Americans claim to stand for. It's as if your government is being held hostage by continual demands for more money and not even the demands of its own people can free it. For they are beaten and arrested in the streets for demanding an end to this funding. And none of it can release the president from his hostage situation. At a time when support of the masses is desperately needed, he is being put up and made to be the bank from which Israel withdraws at will. And how she spends those deposits goes against everything Americans claim to stand for, and they are not alone in the assessments of what is occurring. Yet the international court's opinion has not swayed him. Neither has the voice of the people being beaten and arrested in the streets. So who, in fact, is running America? Because elections are coming, and people ought to know who has the capacity to lead without bowing to invisible powers with loud voices whose speech consists of dollar signs and many, many zeros. Because that is the only voice that president is listening to. And if that is the power that rules and makes decisions which are carried out regardless to laws, regardless to rights, and regardless to the demands of the people, then you slept when the change occurred because you are functioning and operating based on an old paradigm which no longer exists 
and have resolved to do only what you've been told is permissible and allowable while fighting those who do what is not permissible or allowable. You cleave to your fantasies for dear life while life is continually taken. And the remedy you propose are as they have been prescribed, but you don't get better when you take them. Instead, you get worse. Wisdom would advise that you see another doctor, but for this, you may very well have to first see yourselves. Because at some point, a determination will have to be made as to who will be determining your future. You or them. <laughs>